our home is a beautiful planet. It's a blue-green jewel floating through the cosmos. Sometimes, perhaps, we take it a little for granted because we're so used to it. But I'm convinced that if we ever did have the proverbial visitor from outer space, they would be stunned by its beauty, from the plains of the Serengeti to coral reefs to Canada's boreal forests. In fact, I'm convinced they'd be a lot more impressed by our landscapes, our plants, and our animals than they would be by our skyscrapers, our highways, and our factories. So I want to make it clear, before I talk about the specifics of global warming, that I consider myself as strong an environmentalist as anybody on this planet. I had the good fortune, as a boy, to spend my summers here on the shores of Georgian Bay at a remote cottage seven miles from the nearest road. We didn't have electricity, we didn't have hot running water. Past a certain point, we didn't have an indoor toilet. And I wouldn't trade that experience of living so close to nature for anything. Partly because of all those summers spent at Georgian Bay growing up, I'm convinced that we have a profound practical as well as moral duty to protect the environment, the earth, our only home. But in order to fulfill that duty, we have to think intelligently about it. In this documentary, I'm not saying the environment doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that what the climate change alarmists are telling us doesn't fit known facts, readily available facts, about the present state and past condition of the Earth. We have to be sensible about this issue. If we are to preserve the natural environment, without which I am convinced that it is not possible to live well, and it may not be possible to live at all.